Question 24. A gardener wants to build a rectangular garden of area 50 square meters against an existing wall as shown in the diagram. A concrete path of width 1 meter is to be built around the other three sides of the garden. Let x and y be the dimensions, in meters, of the outer rectangle as shown. Part A. Show that y equals 50 over x minus 2 plus 1. Looking at the equation, we have y expressed in terms of x, where y is the subject. Looking at the diagram, what we need to find are the dimensions of the garden area. Now we know that the width of the concrete path is 1 metre. We know the length of the outer rectangle is x metres. If we take away 1 metre here and 1 metre here, so in other words taking away 2 metres, that gives us the length of the garden area which is 2 metres less than x, which is written as x minus 2. The width of the garden area can be found in a similar way. If we take the width of the outer rectangle and subtract 1 metre, we get a width of y minus 1 metres. Now the area of the garden bed, which is a rectangle, is found by multiplying the length by the width, or the width by the length, it doesn't matter which order. And that's written here. So the width, which is y minus 1, multiplied by the length, which is x minus 2. So notice it's in brackets. So y minus 1 in brackets times x minus 2 in brackets is equal to the area of 50 square metres. Now note that the brackets are not expanded at this point. In fact, if we were to expand the brackets, we'd make the problem more difficult. What we want is y on one side, on the left-hand side, and we want the variable x on the right hand side. So it's easier to divide both sides of this equation by x minus 2. So we end up with y minus 1 on the left hand side is equal to 50 divided by x minus 2 in brackets. We could also write it in fraction form as 50 over x minus 2. I just wrote it using the division symbol because I find it a little bit easier to write it using the lines given in this way. The next step is to add 1 to both sides of the equation. So we end up with y is equal to 50 divided by x minus 2 in brackets plus 1. And expressing it in fraction form, we end up with y equals 50 over x minus 2 plus 1. Part B. Find the value of x such that the area of the concrete path is a minimum. Show that your answer gives a minimum area. The area of the concrete path A is the difference between the area of the large rectangle, which is x times y, and the area of the garden, which is 50 square metres. Hence A is equal to xy minus 50. But we want A expressed in terms of the variable x only, not in terms of x and y. So we need to eliminate the y variable somehow. And the reason for that is we want to find the first derivative later on, that'll be our next step, and having two different variables complicates things. We just want a in terms of x because we want the first derivative with respect to x. So we can eliminate the y variable by using what we know from part a, which is y equals 50 over x minus 2 plus 1. So substituting that for y here, we get a is equal to x times 50 over x minus 2 plus 1 in brackets minus 50. Expanding the brackets, we get a is equal to 50x over x minus 2 plus x minus 50. Notice that we have a fraction where the numerator and the denominator are both functions in x. So we'll need to apply the quotient rule on the fraction to find the first derivative a dash. Now before we do that, Note that the derivative of x is just 1, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So applying the quotient rule on the fraction, we get a dash is equal to 50 times x minus 2 in brackets, minus 50x over x minus 2 in brackets squared, plus 1. Expanding the brackets in the numerator and collecting like terms, 
we get a dash is equal to negative 100 over x minus 2 in brackets squared plus 1. The question is asking us to find the value of x such that the area of the concrete path is minimised. And that's a value of x that corresponds to a stationary point. We'll obviously need to show that that stationary point is a minimum. And we'll do that later on. But firstly, let's find a value of x that gives us a stationary point, And we do that by solving the equation a dash is equal to zero. In other words, negative 100 over x minus 2 in brackets squared plus 1 is equal to zero. Moving this plus 1 over to the other side becomes negative 1. And then multiplying both sides by negative 1 and then multiplying both sides by x minus 2 in brackets squared. So in other words, rearranging this equation to make x minus 2 in brackets squared the subject, we get x minus 2 in brackets squared is equal to 100. Note that x must be positive because it represents the length of a rectangle. Taking the square root of both sides, notice that I've only taken the positive square root. We have x minus 2 is equal to 10, and then adding 2 to both sides of the equation, we get x is equal to 12, and that corresponds to a stationary point. The last step is to show that when x equals 12, the area of the concrete path is a minimum. And we can do that by finding the second derivative, a double dash, and that equals 200 over x minus 2 in brackets cubed. Substituting x equals 12 for x in the second derivative, so in other words, when x is equal to 12, the value of the second derivative, a double dash, is equal to 1 over 5, which is positive. Hence, x equals 12 is a minimum. Therefore, the area of the concrete path is minimum when x equals 12 metres.